first ire, and now Shakuras. All that we have held dear is crumbling around us. Despite this, we must press on. The Terrans of Korhal have in their possession the Zelnaga Keystone, which Zeratul foresaw would lead to our salvation. Though I have not seen Commander Raynor in many solar returns, I believe he will give the Keystone to us. Commander James Raynor. Artanis? There. Ain't you a sight for sore eyes. Friend Raynor, you seem rather occupied. Just another day at the office. Who are these insurgents? Call themselves Mobius Corps, an elite guard that used to work for Dr. Narud. They've been striking worlds throughout the sector, leaving few survivors. Each world attacked reported hybridly. Then truly, no world is beyond Amon's reach. Reinforce those bulkheads. Reposition to Mark 7 Alpha. We need to form a battle line. They've overrun Sky Shield, our orbital defense platform. Looks like they've destroyed its atmospheric stabilizers. It's fallen fast. If it crashes, it'll obliterate August Grand. We will ensure that does not happen, Commander. Engage their fleet, and keep their assault at bay. Like old times, buddy. Like old times. Amon will not rest until every living thing is under his dominion. It seems fate has drawn us together once again, James Raynor. I'd call it luck. Luck is a concept that is purely human in origin. We Protoss see the synchronicity of events, and know there is a grander design behind them. Well, it don't matter how you see it. The result's the same. So what brought you all the way out here, Artanis? Zeratul believed that the artifact in your possession, the Keystone, he called it, could guide us to the Zelnaga. Where's Zeratul now? The Dark Prelate fell on ire. His last hope was that I would continue his quest and find a way to stop Amon. Damn it. Always knew there was only one way this quest of his was gonna end. His loss is great. I know you called him friend. I went through hell to get that artifact because of his damned fool prophecies. Lost a lot of good men. If he wanted you to have it, take it. It's yours. Right now, though, we got a city to save. I must remind you, our sacred law, the Deul, clearly forbids us to interfere with lesser beings. Unless there is a direct threat to the Empire. Your choice to aid these Terrans is perplexing. Why do you assume that they are lesser beings, Rohana? I do not make an assumption. Gaze upon them. Unsophisticated. Primitive. They communicate through... orifices. Mouths. Many, including myself, once thought as you do. But I have seen their nobility. In time, you will also. I have received word from our scouts. It seems Amon's forces are divided to conquer separate parts of the sector at once. Sky Shield's in serious trouble, old buddy. If we can't bring it back online, August Grad's gonna take a nuclear-sized impact. Mobius Corps' soldiers are on the platform now. And those guys are suicidal. Rather die than let us stop them. Now, this ain't good. 
Sky Shield's not gonna last much longer. At this rate, we've got maybe ten minutes left till it lands smack dab on our capital. Your suspicions were correct, Commander. Mobius Corps is disabling the platform's atmospheric stabilizers as we speak. The damage appears repairable, Hierarch. Yeah, assuming Mobius Corps leaves anything left to repair. Artanis, if you can clear out those troops, my boys can patch up those stabilizers. That should buy us some extra time. We must move quickly. It will take the combined power of all five stabilizers to halt the platform's descent. Central stabilizer is nearby. Securing it first will deliver us a staging ground to assault the other four. I am detecting an electromagnetic weapon ahead. The pulse emanating from these devices will slowly damage our shields. But their solarite reactors may be useful to us. Destroying these devices would be highly advised. Calculations updated. Commander, your construction vehicles can begin the repairs. Thanks, Artanis. My boys are putting a sensor tower here. Should alert you if Mobius Corps swings through this area. Mobius Corps is mobilizing an attack against our Nexus Point. Rally our defenses. Revising durability estimates. Nice work. Got a repair crew inbound. Lives on. Heads up. Looks like Mobius Corps is starting to reinforce the stabilizers. Expect some heavier resistance. With pride. An Aris Adari. 
As you say. These solarite reactors can be used to improve the solar core's energy output. I detect two more of these devices on the platform. If possible, you should seek them out. As you say, so shall it be. Reactor now. An Aris Adari. With pride. Our light lives on. An Aris Adari. We obey. With pride. Eternally. As you say. Stabilizer has been cleared of enemy forces. Gotcha. Repairs underway. Man, you're sure pissing Mobius Corps off. A lot of troops guarding the stabilizers. Make sure you got enough forces to engage. Solarite reactor is being warped aboard now. I will begin installing them as soon as possible. I walk the shadowed path. And ours are gone. Eternal. As you say. Eternal. Our light lives on. Durability calculations updated. Only one stabilizer still remains in enemy hands. We must make haste.
friend Raynor. Sky Shield has been stabilized, and Mobius Corps is retreating. Admiral Horner will take control of the station from here. Gotta say, I owe you big time for this one, partner. That's a hell of a thing your boys did, Artanis. Sky Shield is back online. We're about to call down the cavalry. We will join you on the surface and extract the Keystone. I got some bad news for you. Seems our friends below had the same idea. While we were fighting to get planetside, the Imperial Palace was raided. Security data indicates the Keystone was taken. My mama used to have a saying, when it rains, it floods. I am uncertain as to how this saying is helpful, friend Raynor. <laughs> Me either. Wait a minute. I'm getting intel. A Mobius Corps evac team is headed toward Bennett Port. They got the Keystone. We shall not let them escape. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the Solar Core now. It's looking bad, Artanis. A lot of dead people down there. We gotta take these bastards out. What could have led these Terrans to come under Amon's thrall? They were assigned to some top secret details, running security at Dr. Narud's hybrid research labs. After Valerian re-established the government, the Mobius Foundation went dark. Last transmissions were chaotic, crazed. Next thing we know, the attack started. The Naaman has turned them into his slaves. An army. They are dangerous, but they are only the start of the war to come. You always were the optimistic sort.